currently 5.40. I'm about to start a little bit later than I actually wanted to, but we're about to do some Boho Knowledge braids. And guess what size they're going to be? Small. Maybe an X. Maybe extra small. Like We're just going to do some small bottle Boho Knowledge braids, and I'm going to do a little demo, too. For you guys so just pray for me and i'll pray for you okay so i'm gonna start by parting my hair from ear to ear and i will be using the all day braid gel just to define my parts and i'm going to define the part in the middle because that's how i'm going to be parting my hair y'all it's 6 26 and i only have two braids most of it is because I haven't locked in for real, so I'm about to lock in. But, like, I'm trying the tie method at the end of these braids. And it is, like, giving nasty. Like, can y'all see that? Look at that. So, um, I wasn't going to use nail glue, but, like, I am. So, I'm going to come back with this part of my head done. Hopefully. Hopefully. With this part of my head done and then um we'll do this side so i'm gonna start by just um braiding off that first little piece of hair and if you would like an in-depth tutorial on how to braid just let me know in the comments and i can get that out to you guys then i add the first piece of braiding hair into my um, thumb and my index finger just because that's if i find that's the easiest way to add hair and I braid down just a little bit and then I add that human piece um, of hair and braid that into it. When I pull it out, I will typically try to pin it up, but I think in this video I put it in my mouth because that was the quickest way. And then I braid down some more before I begin to add even more other pieces to finish off this braid with. And I think I added like maybe four-ish, three to four pieces of human hair before adding that last, that very last piece of human hair towards the end to make my ends curlier. And this is me adding in the last little piece of human hair where I'm going to add uh, yeah. a super thick piece because that will essentially be your human hair piece that'll end off that braid so here i am just uh sealing off the braids in the knot method and i looped it around like three ish times before i tightened it a little bit and so i took some scissors just to feather out that um ending piece to seal off those braids to make it blend well it's 1244 and I'm just now on the last braid of this section I was not locked in at all so maybe when I start tomorrow I'll be locked in but like that's why I started today because I just knew it was gonna take more than a day to do this so Stay tuned for mañana. What's up, y'all? It's the next day. And as much as I had done last night, that's what I have done. It's currently roughly 9 o'clock. So, I am going to try. I'm trying to finish today. I have a date my man today so i'm gonna finish today we're locking in right now so i will update you guys probably um when i finish this side and it's gonna be quicker than what i was yesterday because i really didn't know what to expect i've never done this style on my head before so i was kind of taking my time but now that i know what to do we are about to fly through these braids okay Speaking it into insects because I'm not trying to be sitting here all day All right Let's go So here's another angle of me doing the exact same method 
that I did earlier in the video. I'm adding in the braiding hair pieces. I think I said I added like three and braiding it down and then added in those curly pieces into the braid and pinning it up. And then continue braiding down a little bit and then adding in another piece of human hair. Now, if you decide to do this hairstyle, just know that this is actually a very tedious hairstyle and it's going to give you a run for your money, okay? But I would also recommend if you don't want to do the knot method, nail glue is another option. It might be a little bit harsh for your hair, the fumes, all that good stuff, but I think I find that using nail glue will seal the ends just a little bit better than this knot method in trying to feather out the braiding hair. That's just my opinion. So you guys, I'm on the last braid of the top section. I'm just kind of feathering this hair out so it'll blend well. Y'all, this top section actually took me a long time mostly because like I think I just braid so slow but also like I um I'm doing small like smaller ones and whenever smaller boxes like you can see the boxes are pretty small so I think that is what is taking the most of the time so I am going to go eat use the bathroom because I have to and then I will be, I will just come back with the finished product, okay? Because I still, we still got the whole back to do, okay? Like, this is taking me a while, but like, I'm just trying to make sure that it's done. I'm just trying to make sure that it's finished, like, perfectly. And then I'm trying to, and this is actually very tedious as well. Trying to like, add these curly pieces and everything in. So, yeah, I'll be back. Y'all, I am finally on my last braid, and it is 2.47 Saturday. I started this on Thursday, and in total, I started this Thursday like around 4-ish, maybe? And uh, I want to say that I did like 6 hours, maybe it was like 5 then. It was probably like 6, I'm lying. Might have been 6. I did like six hours on Thursday. Yesterday, I started working on my hair like around like 8.30, 9-ish. I want to say 9 because I was laying in bed. And um, I didn't stop doing that till about 8 or 9 because, you know, I had to hang out with my men. So that was like 12 hours. So 6 plus 12 is like 18. And I have been working on this since like 10 30 ish today 11 and it's 2 47 so that's like three hours there so in total this is actually taking me like 20 about 22 hours 22 hours i definitely underestimated this hairstyle like completely because i genuinely did not think that it was going to take this long and it has taken so long okay but you guys are going to see the final results it's actually looks really good okay like this is why i do my own hair most of the time because i like it to look a certain way and if that means spending 20 some hours to do my hair then that's what i'm gonna have to do okay so just because i feel like the knot method did not seal my hair i still wanted to go in and dip my ends inside of some not boiling but hot water okay and I think I even went back and, and just dipped it in boiling water anyways, just so I can ensure that my hair was sealed. I feel like this hairstyle came out so perfectly though. Like I've gotten so many compliments on how good my hair is. People wanting to know who did my hair. I did it you guys and no I will not be taking appointments soon okay 
So if you're in my city and you want your hair done, don't ask me. So now I'm going to go in with some mousse just to um, seal and flatten out any loose hairs that might be coming up during this moment. And I'm going to also go in with some Mayo Rose Water Spray to just um, moisturize my roots, get a little, you know, a little love in it. You know how they go. And I really love how this hairstyle turned out. Like this is my first time doing boho knotless braids and I can say I did that. Okay? So I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.